Okay, next we're gonna sew the back and the two front panels together at the shoulder seam and we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So right now the back and the front panels here is wrong side facing up. But uh, before we sew, I just wanna explain a little bit here. So I gonna explain on the paper here real quick. So right now on the paper, my back side sorry back panel and then two front panels right side still facing up i haven't turned yet on the paper and i will show you how i turn it so i'm gonna turn my back panel so this is the wrong side facing up same as the uh, real project wrong side facing up and now we're gonna talk about the front panel so this is my right front panel the right side when you wear it okay so this is still right side facing up and this is my left front panel the left side when you wear it okay also the right side still facing up now i just need to turn those panels wrong side facing up so i'm gonna turn the right side first the right panel first so this is before i turn and then when I turn, it'll look like this. And now I cannot sew like this, right? I'm gonna move to this side because I want this to be on the inside like this. It's gonna be the color. All right, so yeah. Yeah, after I turn, I'm gonna put the right front panel on the right corner here, which is this one. This is my right front panel. I'm gonna put like this and now the left front panel um, before I turn here is what this look like and then I'm gonna turn wrong side facing up and then I'm gonna put the left panel right here which is this one and all of this right side facing down wrong side facing up I hope that makes sense <laughs> okay Let's get sewing. So remember when we make the right front panels, we have a long tail for sew, but for the left front panel, we don't have a long tail here, but we have right here. So we cannot use that. And I cut a new strand of yarn, about 10 inches long, enough to sew the shoulder seam here, front panel into the back panel. and. Now, uh, I apologize. I think we can also leave a long tail from the back panel here as well to sew the left front panel, but it's no big deal. You can cut a new strand of yarn and sew it. Doesn't matter. So yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, after I cut a new strand of yarn, I have a yarn needle here, and then I'm gonna sew the uh, left front panel here. And then I have 17 rows on my front panel here. And then I'm gonna count 17 rows on my back panel and then I place this stitch marker. I show you how I count it. So in this here, it have two rows in there, in this line. So this two rows, this two rows, this two rows. Okay, so, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And I place this stitch marker into the row 17. Like that. So we're gonna sew those 17 rows together. I gonna remove this stitch marker. And remember that stitch we're gonna insert the needle into. So I remove this stitch marker. I insert into the first stitch here on the front panel. And then, oh, I forget where it is. <laughs> Sorry. Right here. And then insert into the row 17, where we just remove this stitch marker on the back panel and then bring it out. I just gonna sew back and forth and you can use any method you prefer. And then I'm gonna insert into the next stitch here, and the next stitch there, like that. 
and then next stitch here and next stitch there like that okay next stitch here and the next stitch there next stitch here and next stitch there make sure don't sew too tight or too loose next stitch here and then next stitch there it's difficult to see a normal stitch be careful but just make sure that all even see all this even and lining up that's all important next stitch here and next stitch here like that okay I'm just gonna keep sewing until I reach the end here and then after you finish with this side you gonna go to this side and then sew exactly the same whatever method you use for this side and I gonna use the long tail that I left earlier for my right front panel to sew into the back panel at the shoulder here all right yeah I gonna sew this side and then at the end I gonna go ahead and sew this side as well so exactly the same and then I will be back and we gonna sew the sleeve into the back and the front panel okay now after I sew the shoulder seam here this and this and then next uh, we're gonna sew the sleeve into the main panel and I already sew one side here and here is what it looks like this is the wrong side okay and this is the sleeve and I'm gonna show you in the paper again real quick so I already sew the sleeve which is this one all right and I'm gonna show you how you can sew on this side because both sides we sew exactly the same so you're gonna lay your sleeve like this make sure it's even on both sides all right and then you can use any method you prefer and then use the long tail that we left earlier for sewing and also we sew on the wrong side so i turn my sleeves long side facing up as well as all the panels here wrong side facing up all right and yeah i'm gonna show you how to sew on this side Here is what it looks like after I sew on this side. This is the wrong side. And I show you on the right side. Here is the right side of this sleeve when I sew. And this is the right side of the shoulder seam. All right. So I already marked the um, sleeve into the main panel here. And again, make sure it's wrong side facing up for all the panels. And remember when I make the sleeve, I have 35 single crochet stitches. So I have uh, 17 single crochet. This part I'm going to sew into the front panel. And then 17, this part I'm going to sew into the back panel. So 17 plus 17 equal 34 single crochet right and then I have one stitch here that I gonna sew right into the shoulder seam so 17 here 17 here and one here total of 35 stitches all right but whatever you do just make sure both sides is even so I'm gonna show you how I count on the front panel first so I count the stitch next to the shoulder seam. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. I place the orange stitch marker here right into the seventeenth stitch into the uh, front panel and then place into the first stitch of the sleeve so yeah I will sew those 17 stitches together 
and then you're gonna count the same on this side. I have 17 here and 17 here. I'm gonna sew those 17 stitches together. All right, whatever you do, just make sure it's even, nice and even. I already have my yarn needle here ready to go. So I sew very easy, just sew back and forth. So first, I'm going to remove the stitch marker and remember that stitch, okay? We're going to insert the needle into that stitch. Okay. I insert the hook there, sorry, the needle there, and pull it out. And then I'm going to insert my needle right into the same stitch one more time. The sleeve panel and then the front panel there, just to lock the yarn. And bring it out. And then I move on to the next stitch. I insert my needle into the next stitch of the sleeve. I insert into both loops, okay? And then go into the front panel, next stitch, both loops as well. And bring it out. And then insert my needle into the next stitch of the sleeve panel. And then next stitch of the front panel, like that. And bring it out. Insert into next stitch of the sleeve and then next stitch of the front panel, like that. And then insert into the next stitch of the sleeve and then next stitch of the front panel. And bring it out. Next stitch of the sleeve, next stitch of the front panel and bring it out. Next stitch of the sleeve, next stitch of the front panel like that and bring it out that's all I gonna do all right I just gonna sew back and forth until I reach the end here make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose and again you can use any method you prefer and then when I reach the middle here I make sure that you go into this stitch of the sleeve and then that shoulder seam of the main panel all right. Yeah, make sure it's even. All right. <laughs> I'm going to keep sewing until I reach the end here and then I will be back. Okay, now I reach the end here and I already removed this stitch marker. And then next, you just need to weave the end and uh, trim the tail. That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know how to weave the end, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. So yeah, just weave the end on the wrong side and maybe tie a couple knots whatever you think is secure and then you trim the tail and you're done so both side sew exactly the same and after you sew both sleeves into the main panels next I will show you how to sew uh, the jacket together okay next we're gonna sew the jacket together after we sew the shoulder seam here and then the sleeve into the main panel here and then I want you to fold your jacket in half at the shoulder seam with the right side facing each other and we're gonna sew on the wrong side okay so I'm gonna show you I fold it in half like this and like this here's what my jacket looks like here right now we're gonna sew on the side seam here all the way up until we reach the armpit and then we're gonna continue uh, sew the sleeve here all the way down until we reach the end and we're gonna sew on the wrong side okay so right now my right side facing each other right side facing each other this is the wrong side out all right I already sew one side here I can show you how to sew this side both sides so exactly the same and you can use any method you prefer so here is this side i already sew this side see here here's what i sew this is the wrong side okay here is the armpit and then here is the sleeve where i sew all right and then the right side, here is what this looks like on the right side. Alright, I'm gonna show you how to sew this side. I'm gonna turn this way so easy to sew. 
and to see as well. Okay, you need to cut a new strand of yarn long enough to sew the side seam and then the sleeve. I cut about uh, like 70 inches long. You have a little extra better than you don't have enough. All right. So I'm gonna insert my yarn needle into the first stitch at the corner here. This is the back panel. And then insert into the first stitch right at the corner of the front panel, both loops like that, and then bring the yarn out. And then I insert into the next stitch of the back panel next stitch of the front panel, both loops like that, and then bring it out. And then insert into the next stitch of the back panel, next stitch of the front panel like that, and then bring it out. And then insert into the next stitch here, next stitch there, like that, and then bring it out. And then insert into the next stitch here, and then next stitch there, and then bring it out. This is what I'm gonna sew. I'm just gonna sew back and forth until the end. i show you a few more stitches, okay? Okay, next stitch here and then next stitch there. Like that. Very easy. And then next stitch here and then next stitch there. And then bring it out. Just make sure that you don't sew it too tight or too loose. Here's what it looks like on the wrong side and here is on the right side. So far. All right, I'm just gonna keep sewing back and forth until I reach the uh, armpit. And then after that, I'm gonna continue sew on the side seam, sorry, on the um, sleeve seam here at the bottom here. Sew all the way down until I reach the end and then I will be back. And when you sew the sleeve, difficult to see normal stitches. Just be careful, make sure that even make sure both sides is lining up and even okay all right good luck take your time i will be back when i reach the end of this sleeve here okay after i sew the side seam and then the sleeve and i reach the end here the end of the sleeve and then next you just need to weave all the ends and I'm not going to show you how to do that because I'm pretty sure you know how to do that, okay? And then I come back and weave all the end later. And after you have both sides sewn, next I want you to turn your jacket right side out. Okay, right now my jacket is right side out and we're going to crochet the collar here on the right side, okay? So yeah, this is my right side of the jacket. And I use color B, which is the black color, for crochet the, um, uh, the color here, all right? And I crochet a total of 11 rows, and I use black color. So, yeah, don't worry, i show you how to do that. I'm going to rip it off, so I can show you how you can crochet the color. And I'm going to show you in... Uh, gray color so you can see. That's why I go ahead and try to uh, crochet with the black color but I'm not gonna show you in the video because it's difficult to see. So, But my real jacket I use the black color. Alright, I'm just gonna rip it off.
Okay. Everything is gone now. So, here's what it looks like before we make the color, right? Make sure you turn your right side out. So right now, the right side of my jacket is out. All right, I'm gonna use the color A, the gray color, to show you because, like I said, it's easy to see it in black color. It's difficult to see. I love this color though. I think these two colors go very good together. Oops. All right. So, I want you to take your, uh, I call this color, okay? I, I'm not sure what to call it, okay. Take your uh, color this part out like that, split it out, <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna skip the rows. We're gonna skip 10 rows. So in this line, you have two rows in there, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Skip 10 rows. And then into the next row here, we're gonna add a new yarn. Right here. Skip 10, all right? I'm gonna go slowly because I'm not sure you're gonna understand, but yeah. All right, skip 10 and then into the next stitch, I insert the hook in there and then I bring the new yarn and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop and chain one and then that chain one doesn't count at a stitch so i gonna make one single crochet into the same stitch that i just chain one that i just add the new yarn okay i insert the hook into the same stitch there pull up a loop and make single crochet this is the first single crochet of the uh, color of the row one on row one oh sorry and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the next stitch here, which is the next row. I call that stitch instead, so easier to understand. I insert the hook, I pull up a loop, and make single crochet. So far, I have two single crochet, okay? And then single crochet into the next stitch here. And then single crochet into the next stitch here. And then single crochet into the next stitch here. Okay, so far I have five single crochet. And then, next, I'm gonna go into the next stitch here. We're gonna crochet up here and go around and go down and come here a little bit and then turn back and forth. All right, I'm gonna make single crochet into the next stitch here. Not at the corner one, okay? Not that one, but this one. So single crochet into the next one here. And then single crochet into the next. Single crochet into the next. Single crochet into the next. So just single crochet. And then single crochet into each stitch here as well. This side. Uh, one more thing I forget to tell you. At the shoulder seam here, I'm not gonna crochet anything in there, okay? But if you want, you can do that as well. 
whatever you prefer. So it doesn't give me that big hole, so that's why I'm not crochet in there. But if you prefer, you can do that. Crochet down. Now I crochet down here, okay? Next stitch here. Again, at this corner, I'm not going to crochet in there. But I crochet into next stitch here. And then next stitch here. Next stitch here. Next stitch here. Oops. Okay, the last stitch here. Okay, now I stop here when I have 10 rows open here. Alright, I leave 10 rows here and then 10 rows here. Make sure both sides is even. Alright, and then the end of row 1, I have a total of 40 single crochet stitches across. And if you have a couple more or a couple less stitches, totally fine. But make sure you don't have more than that. Okay, and then, yeah, don't worry, I go slowly and it's going to be easy, easy pattern. Okay, so for row two, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to crochet back. Basically, we're just going to go back and forth for like um, 11 rows. So yeah, after I chain one, I turn. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch, okay? And you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then I'm going to make single crochet into the first stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next. Single crochet into the next. Oops, sorry. And then single crochet into the next. Just keep making one single crochet into each stitch across. I'm going to keep doing that until I reach the end here where we start on row one here. And you should have the same amount of these stitches. So yeah, I will be back when I reach the end of row two here. Okay, now I'm at the end of row two here and I have the same 40 single crochet stitches across. And then... Uh, for row 3 to row 11, I can now repeat row 2. And every row, I can have the same amount of these stitches because we're not going to increase or decrease. Okay, but I'm going to show you one more row, which is row 3. So this is the end of row 2. And next, I'm going to chain 1 and turn. And just repeat row 2. We're going to make single crochet into each stitch across. So after I chain one and turn, I make single crochet into the first stitch. Single crochet into the next. 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 Like that. Just repeating row two. Okay, here's yeah, so what it's look like so far. You start to see it go, right? <laughs> I'm so excited for this uh, jacket to be finished. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to keep make one single crochet into each stitch across and I will meet you guys back in one more time at the end of row three. I'm at the end of row three here and I have the same 40 single crochet stitches across. And like I said, we're just going to repeat row two. So. I gonna keep repeating row two until I have eleven rows, and then I will be back. Okay, uh, let me show you a few more stitches on row four, <laughs> just to make sure. But I'm sure you know how to do that. All right, so I chain one and turn. This is gonna be row four. I make single crochet into the first stitch here, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next. Like that. Just repeating row two. Alright, here's what it looks like so far. Okay, I'm gonna 
go ahead and keep crochet until I have 11 rows and I want you to count your stitches just to make sure that you're not increased or decreased by accident and yeah take your time and I also gonna switch my yarn to color A I gonna rip this color out and I gonna use the real color that I gonna wear for this jacket because you know what's going on already so I'm pretty sure you know how to do that anyway I will be back when I have total of 11 rows good luck okay now I have 11 rows here for the color part and if you want bigger color keep adding more rows just repeat row 2 all right for me I think 11 rows is perfect and then next don't cut the yarn yet I gonna crochet around the collar and go around the panels the front panels okay I'll show you how to do that and if you want to leave it like this it's totally fine as well whatever you prefer but I don't want to show you how I do my uh, jacket so to do that I'm just gonna turn this side a little bit so it's easy for me to crochet okay this is the end of row 11 I just gonna crochet one single crochet into each stitch which is the end of each row I call that stitch instead I'm gonna co crochet all down here and then crochet here and then crochet here too down there okay all right this is the last stitch of row 11 I'm gonna insert the hook into the next stitch here sorry if it's difficult to see just single crochet into each stitch so next stitch here and then next stitch here I try my best <laughs> to show you so next stitch here okay and then next stitch here 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 and then next stitch here okay and then we gonna crochet this part so next stitch here and then next stitch here 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 oops okay sorry next stitch here okay and then at the corner right here at the corner I'm gonna make two single crochet in there because it's the corner part so I'm gonna make one more single crochet into the same stitch like that that is the corner and then one single crochet into each stitch um, it's gonna be very easy to see now because you can see no more stitches so I'm gonna show you a few stitches next stitch here next stitch next stitch and then the next and the next like that all right here's what it looks like so far okay you're just gonna keep crochet one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the end here which is gonna be the right front panel corner and then at the end I will be back we're gonna cut the yarn and for the other side we're gonna add a new yarn on the other side and then crochet exactly the same okay all right I will be back when I reach the end here okay now I'm at the end here this is the corner of the right front panel um next i just gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later i cut the yarn and then i pull my yarn out and then i gonna weave the ends later and here's what this look like i just want to show you real quick oops okay see here 
and then next we're gonna crochet this side and then I turn my sweater this side a little bit so I can crochet And I'm gonna add a new yarn into the uh, left front panel at the corner here, at the bottom. Bring the new yarn. Add it right here. Pull up a loop and chain one. The chain one doesn't count it as stitch, so I'm just gonna make one single crochet into the same stitch that I add a new yarn. Set the hook, pull up a loop, and make single crochet, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next. I whip this end at the same time, so I just hold it on the back and work over that end. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, just want to show you. So single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next single crochet into the next like that okay just keep making single crochet okay I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch and I will be back when I reach this corner okay okay now I reach this corner and I'm gonna make two single crochet into that corner. Remember when we make this corner, we make two single crochet in there. Okay, we're gonna do the same. So this is the corner stitch I'm gonna make. Two single crochet. So this is one and make one more into the same stitch. And two. And then we just continue crochet one single crochet into each stitch. Next stitch here, 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 next stitch here. Next stitch here, and then we're gonna crochet one single crochet into each stitch until we reach this corner, the color corner. <laughs> okay, next stitch here. It's difficult to see, but right here, okay. Next stitch here, next stitch here. Next stitch here, 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 next, next, and then I'm at the end here, I gonna cut the yarn. So here's what this look like. Okay, cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. Cut the yarn. And then I pull my yarn out. I bring my yarn needle and insert that tail into that yarn needle. And then I insert the hook, sorry, <laughs> the needle into the next stitch here, both loops. Come back out, and then I insert into the last stitch right at the middle here, where the tail come from, and bring it in, inside, like that. Not too tight, okay, and then weave the end. Alright, keep weaving the end until you think it's secure, and then you trim the tail, and you're done. And that's it for the crochet part, and you just need to weave all the ends, and then next, I'm gonna show you how I sew my buttons into the jacket. Okay, next we're gonna sew the buttons into the jacket. Okay, remember when we make the buttonholes, 
we make on the um, right front panel which is this one so see here so I make total of four holes all right and then I can sew the button into the left front panel here and I already mark my stitch markers and then before we sew I recommend you to try your jacket on and where you sew the button is also is depend on how you want your jacket to fit you okay so I don't want my jacket fit me too tight so I gonna put around here and I will show you how I mark my stitch markers okay so yeah I don't want it too tight or too loose I think it's perfect around here and yeah I count the row from the outside I count six rows and then I place this stitch marker into the row six so this is row one here the black color so row one row two row three row four row five and row six I place this stitch marker into the row six and then I gonna count the stitch all right I start count uh, count on row six okay start count here just uh, the first stitch here one two three four five six seven eight I count until I have eight stitch and then I place this stitch marker into the next stitch all right and then I count next stitch start count one again so one two three four five six seven and eight and then place this stitch marker into the next stitch so basically I have eight stitches in between the stitch marker remember when we make the buttonhole I have eight stitch eight single crochet in between I make the buttonholes I want my button to be the same here's my button here's my um, sewing needle and thread ready to go I'm pretty sure you know how to sew button I just gonna show one one button I gonna remove this stitch marker and then sew that button into that stitch right there okay all right I insert my needle in there and then I insert into my button every button design is different so yeah like I said I I'm sure you know how to sew it so I just have one hole here on my button and I just leave a little tail here just enough to uh, tie the uh, thread together everyone have their own style so yeah whatever you prefer I'm not the best sewing I, I don't like sewing at all I just gonna tie a few knots just make sure it's secure and then after that I gonna sew keep sewing my button I hope you can see so I gonna insert into the yarn the fabric bring it out and go to the the hole on the button and bring it out like that go to the yarn bring it out and go to the hole on the button I try to not sew through the inside but if it's go through inside totally fine but I just don't want the this uh, black thread to see through so all right just keep sewing like that all right so yeah I gonna keep sewing this button and then three more buttons to go and then I will be back good luck okay now I sew all my buttons here's what it look like and then I just want to show you when I uh, close it here 
I love these buttons. I think it's perfect for this jacket. All right, so beautiful, guys. I'm so happy how this uh, jacket turned out. That's it. We done. Let me show you on this side here. Okay, here's what it looks like. So you just need to weave all the ends, okay? And you're done. And yeah, we did it. I'm so happy about this jacket and I love everything about it. And I'm so proud of myself. And I'm sure if you make yourself one of this jacket, you would be proud of yourself as well. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share, please just text me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll put all the links in the description below. And if you enjoy making this project, please just share this video to your friends. I will appreciate it so much. And I want to say thank you so much for all of your support and all the comments. I read all the comments, but sometimes I just don't have time to reply it. But I try my best. And yeah, stay warm everyone and I will see you next video. Bye-bye!